most deadly snake in the world right there. And just a single drop of that venom can kill you, correct? Yeah. And we are rolling. What's going on everybody? 2019 was an insane year. It's kind of hard to remember everything we did. Mario, how many adventures did we take? You know what? I can't even count on my fingers. We had so many adventures. I know, right? Hey, wait a second, wasn't Coyote supposed to be here? You know, I think he's- Hey, what's going on Coyote Pack? Oh, oh there, he there he is. 2019 was insane. It's hard to remember everything that we did over the course of this past year. There were dolphins, snapping turtles, ghost frogs, poison dart frogs, and splendid frogs. Parasitic remora, microscopic water bears, and of course, snakes. Lots and lots of snakes. And don't forget about that shipwreck. Or when we saved that turtle from traffic. Guys, pickle pops. And then of course, you remember the time that I found that ring. Yes, my precious <laughs> Okay, how about we take a look back at our favorite moments from this past year? Sound good, Mario? Let's do it. And don't forget at home, tell us in the comments section below what your favorite adventure was in 2019, because we can't wait to find out. Okay, we're going to enter the most dangerous room on the planet, a room filled with venomous snakes. Once I get him by the head, he's not gonna be happy. Grab the body? Yep, yep, yep. Gosh, it is so powerful. Looks like your finger is the target. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that is a huge venom guild. My give goodness. his venom glands a bit of a massage, trying to get a little bit more. Massive fangs from a lapid. So if you were to be bitten by this snake and have that much venom go into you, do you think there's a chance you're gonna survive? Uh, it wouldn't be a very good chance. Okay. Right here, we got one, got one. Wow, that's a good one. That is a good sized salamander. All right, Dr. Okada, move in for the catch. Yes! This is considered a national treasure right here. When you look at an animal like this and you think to yourself, wow, this has been on the planet longer than most of us. It is certainly something that needs to be preserved, that needs to be cherished and honored. When you get down to here, you'll notice all of the muscle in this tail. It is just a solid mass of power. Now look at these flaps of skin that run along the sides of the body here. They're actually able to absorb oxygen through those flaps, which helps them to breathe underwater. Now, the strategy here is all about sneaking up to the trunk of the tree. I'll look to Mario, he'll give me the signal as to how high it is, and then I jump, swing my arm around the side, and make the catch. Whoa, look at that. That is a big that boy. That is a big dragon. This lizard is the only kind that has a frill like this. And you can see that frill is a big defense, basically puffing up saying, okay, you don't want to mess with me. You know what's better than a baby frill dragon? Two baby frill dragons. Two baby frill dragons. Oh man. Just climb right on my finger. Twinsies. So little. Buddy. That is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. Is that that a, is insane. Dream for you? You need to do this. I don't know about that. You need to do this. This is super yes. cool. Yes. Oh. I'm ready to do it again. The cage of death is an impenetrable plexiglass tube. At nearly three inches thick, it gives those who are brave enough the chance to enter the water for an unforgettable 360 degree view of the crocodiles. The crocs who call the cove home were removed from the wild because they were considered nuisance animals. As an alternative to these crocodiles being destroyed, they were brought here 
where they now serve as educational ambassadors for their species. Oh, he's coming behind you, are you? <laughs> Am I capable of keeping my hands in the scolding water of this natural hot spring? Now keep in mind, this is 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah. Oh wow, it gets hotter the deeper you go. Ah. I know that was entertaining, but guys, it is all about safety. These hot springs are incredibly hot. If you were to fall into this water or just place your hands into there for too long, you could face a serious burn situation. I'll tell you what, if I was nervous about diving with sharks during the day, I'm very nervous about <laughs> diving with sharks at night. Hey Mario, watch out! There's a, yep, big tiger shark right behind you. Within minutes, the entire landscape turned pitch black and our only field of view was directly in front of us. And then, suddenly, we came upon something that would change my perspective of sharks forever. It was a lemon shark and it appeared to be, well, sleeping. This would be the perfect opportunity to get some great close-ups of that shark. And to my surprise, I was able to lie right next to the nearly 10-foot shark. This was amazing. Laying there beside this incredible creature, I could sense its gentle nature. And it became clear that it had accepted my presence and was allowing us to film with it. And then, I reached out, testing its trust. I couldn't believe it. It actually let me make contact. This is a molly venomous snake, so I do have to be careful. I'm gonna use my snake hook just to gently kind of coax this snake out of this tree. There we go. All right, check this out. These species have large eyes that pick up movement very well. I mean, he is just basically locked on my face. So when this snake opens its mouth, you're actually gonna see a small opening called a glottis. And the glottis aids in breathing when this snake or all snakes are swallowing large prey items. It kinda acts like a snorkel. So when this guy has a mouth full of frogs, he can still breathe. It's a dinosaur tooth. We have been out here today for going on seven hours digging in the heat, but there it is right there. The holy grail of Jurassic fossils, the Allosaurus tooth. My hands are shaking just being able to hold a fossil of this magnitude. Just think about that. 150 million years ago, this tooth was digging into the flesh of other dinosaurs. A few steps between the deck and the shark cage created a bridge to the world of the great white. My heart began to race, but this time, the nerves I felt were more distinct. This was an adrenaline rush from the excitement of a life's dream nearing closer with each and every step. On average, great white sharks will have up to 300 teeth in their mouths at any given time and these teeth are arranged in up to seven rows with the first two known as their working teeth. As you can see by our footage, their attacks are calculated and precise. 
The torpedo shape of their body allows the Great White to accelerate up to speeds of, get this, 35 miles an hour and strike with a force of 29 Gs. So forget about the bite for a second. The impact alone is enough to kill prey all by itself. Man, I'm never going to forget that encounter. That's it? I'm pretty sure we filmed more. Don't worry, Mario, we didn't forget about that king snake that you found before me. That's right, that snakey surprise. That snake pooped on me. It's been a big year, guys, and we could not have done it without each and every one of you in the Coyote Pack watching every single week. Uh, 2020 is going to be amazing, our biggest year yet, and the launch of our very first television show on Animal Planet, Brave the Wild. So stay tuned, there's gonna be more adventure than you can possibly imagine. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, be brave, stay wild. We'll see ya in 2020. If you thought that look back at 2019 was a blast, then leave a comment below to let us know where we should go next and what animals you'd like to see up close for the cameras in 2020. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next epic adventure.